Do yourself some good. What am I, your maid? Yes. Oh, it's a dog. The dog yeah. is <laughs> cuter than Lil Bub. Hey people, it is V today 24, what am I doing with my hands? And it's Weird Wednesday and I'm going to tell you about something really weird that happened to me two years ago when I went to Arizona with my family. I went to Arizona two years ago, it was in the Phoenix Scottsdale area, and I went because my dad's work had this convention thing that he had to go to for a week, and he brought me along and the only reason he didn't bring my sister Emily was because that was the same summer that she went to England on a school trip. So yeah, while she was in England, I was in Arizona. Not fair, but whatever. Anyway, so we went to the convention and it was really fun. It was my first time on a plane. I've never been on an airplane. It was really exciting. We got to the resort. It was super nice. There was awesome scenery, two pools. I freaking love Arizona. I was closer to the killers even though they were in England at the time that I was there, but I was still closer to Las Vegas than I'd ever been. Anyways, one day we decided to rent a car and go out and about because we didn't have a car because we flew. And I needed to get out because my parents had been going to meetings and going to certain little things that I couldn't go to because I was younger and I just didn't want to. So I had to sit in the hotel room alone and watch Food Network, which was fine with me. I'm that kind of person where I'm cool with being by myself and watching TV, but they wanted to get out and do things. So we rented a car and drove around the Scottsdale area, which is a super nice area. If you've never been to Phoenix, Arizona or anything like that, it's awesome. It's so cool. But we got kind of lost because we were not used to the surroundings. We stopped in a parking lot and tried to look at the map that we had. When we were stopping, all of a sudden this lady comes up to us and knocks on our car window. We thought she saw that we had our map and that she was going to help us with our directions. But that's not what she wanted. So she knocked on a window my dad rolled down the window and, he, and she says, I've been watching you and you've been following me for the last five or so minutes. And I just want to know why you've been following me. We did not follow this lady, and we had no idea what she was talking about. So that wasn't what we were expecting her for, to her to say, so we were like, what the what? What's happening? But my dad asked what car she's driving, and she goes, it doesn't matter what car I'm driving, I want to know why you were following me. And then my dad goes, we're an older couple and a 13 year old in the back seat, and she's like, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Yes it does, lady. Two grown people and a teenage girl in the back seat. Yes, we were stalking you. We wanted to kidnap you and then take you to worlds of fun with us. Why would you think that the family, perfectly stable, in a red car, who... What? Uh, she still thought we were stalking her and finally my dad was like, listen, we're from out of town, we're not following you. She just went, whatever, and walked back to her car. Like, it was no big deal. I think she personally realized what she was doing, but she was too, like, haughty to say that she was wrong, so she just waved it off and walked away, but it was so weird. If she did think that we were following her, why would you go up to a car of the people that you thought were following you? If they were really going to hurt you, why would you go up to their car? Like... That just makes you an easier person for them to get. She was whacked. I don't know. But it makes an excellent anecdote. That's my story for today. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Who? What just happened? Carry my, carry my, can read my poker face. Why does Lady Gaga make music?